Hi everyone, welcome back and in this episode of Spenders Academy, we'll be featuring another expert and trainer on our platform. Her name is Carrie Yu and Carrie is based out of Hong Kong. So you will find her LinkedIn profile as well as her expert's profile for you to get connected with her personally. A little bit about, a little bit about Carrie before we get into in-depth discussion with her. Carrie is a China marketing expert, a profit strategist and a global speaker. She's actually top 10 WeChat influenza and she's the founder of You Ignite Limited, a consultant company specialize in Chinese social media marketing strategy. It provides a one-stop marketing solution and services including training and consultation on how to break into the population of 1.4 billion people in China. Now Carrie is talent in helping growth rapidly. She helped one company before get out of debt of US 640,000 and turn the company around to create a record revenue of US 6.5 million in one financial year. Amazing. Now many business owners experience business bloom, triple sales volume uh, in, within three months uh, after they consulted with Carrie and the business and made them struggle for years and Carrie helped them overcome all the hurdles and thrive in business. So basically let's go into in-depth discussion asking Carrie a couple of questions uh, during this live discussions and if you have any questions for Carrie leave them at the end of this video as well so we can get them uh, addressed by her uh, and get back to you. So thank you for watching the rest of the video. So hi, Carrie. Let's get started. Um, so they will be joining us halfway through, uh, but we only have one hour. So we're going to start with the whole sessions. I've already started recording. Okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining today's live session. Today is with Carrie Yu and she is based out of Hong Kong now. Yeah, Carrie? Yes, correct. Carrie is a China marketing strategist, profit strategist, author and global speaker running few businesses in order to empower people to grow their business. Now, especially all those people who sign up for this webinar is particularly interested in the China market. And despite mm -hmm. the fact that it's a 1.4 billion people, uh, I think a lot of us realize how difficult or how different this market is. You know, I always have imagination that I might grow a business in China, but then I think about the language barrier, the different culture, and also I think a lot of things happening there is ruled by governance. Uh, better. Mm -hmm. So a lot of strategies in other countries does not apply. You know, the things mm -hmm. we're familiar with uh, everybody about Facebook, uh, YouTube, they're all banned in China. So the question yeah. is, China play a different game altogether. So, and that's why if anybody has plans to enter China, they need to find out more about the local market before investing money to just mm -hmm. enter. Because anything mm -hmm. that worked elsewhere does not work here. Okay, so the yes. first question, Carrie, I have for you uh, is to tell all of us uh, today, tell us more about what you do and why you do it. Okay, I'm a, I help a foreign business owner, uh, even in Hong Kong, to enter China market efficiently and also empower people to generate more income, even their like a home-based business. So it doesn't matter any kind of business, as long as you want to enter China, you will be able to help them through? Yeah, but have to like maybe a little bit to restructure the business model. Uh, it's much more easy if you want to build your IP that is your personal brand over there. It's much more easy because right now in China, KOL, that means key opinion leader, influencing, influencer marketing is really popular over there. So even the Fortune 500 companies, CEO, they have like a billion, you know, a really, really high level person uh, over 60 years old, they still have to sell things on WeChat. So, you know, uh, the IP is really important in China. If you can make it like uh, not brand your company, but brand your per personal branding, your, your name, that is much more easy. I see. So as a business strategist, can you tell us why China is such a different market compared to other countries? Uh, just think about like 1% um, of them just give you $1 overnight, you become a millionaire. <laughs> and, you know, convert them $1 is not so difficult, right? So I, I, I mean that because they have like a different tribe, I say, is like different taste, different subculture. If you can fit in their subculture and you know their habits, that is really, really easy for you to make quite a lot of money. But for me, because um, I always travel to China and I have stationed 
um, in Beijing for three and a half years during Olympic time, uh, during like 2008 and 2011. So my approach is more like local Chinese in China approach to help my client to get client or enter the China business market. So it's really different when you compare with the other like uh, China social media agency. It's a totally different approach. So I will help my client to remodel them even they are like, I have, you know, my clients is in finance. Finance is also like restriction, even in Facebook, right? But I have like trained their marketing team how to approach them well and things going well. And I have different like a client from different industry, industry, but no problem with it. Oh, perfect. So what is the one thing that businesses need to do differently when they try to tap into a 1.4 billion, uh, 1.4 billion people market, especially if they're a foreigner business? Yeah, uh, because the culture and the habits are totally different. In China, the people really, really know what they want and they don't want. When I compare with uh, my foreigner friends, you know, because we are, our life is quite um, comfortable, you know, but for the most people in China, they really know what they want and they don't want. So if you fit in their languaging, for example, um, like uh, we, we, we say hi, right? But in, in China, they're a different way and locally they a different way. If you can say in their language, they understand you, they connect it. And also in China, the Chinese um, audience, they are much more emotional than compared with um, like Hong Kong or even like out of China. They, they buy something really, 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 really emotional. So you can see some um, big numbers in just one day, like um, 11th uh, November, do you know yeah. like Alibaba Day? Yeah, yeah. Did, you, did you hear about it? And people try the strategy, actually it's really fit in local Chinese mindset, but not uh, like uh, people so-called internationally. So if you really fit in their mindset, you know their language, you know, you understand their, uh, what they think about, what they really want. And then it's like a copywriting. You make it like totally fit in their culture and their value, then easy to sell. So as a foreigner, I don't speak Mandarin. Well, not very much, okay? So uh, as a foreigner, how do I then fit in their local jargon of language and their culture if I cannot speak their language in the first place? Yeah, so that's why I, I exist <laughs> as a consultant. Yeah, so I because my clients from like a beauty industry and also even education, even in finance, finance is much, much hard even in the internet world no matter it's facebook marketing or whatever right finance and some medical mlm is really really hard but my clients also from you know finance industry and going very well, well. I, I i try to actually i train them marketing team how to approach the local chinese uh like more efficient so if you we have like a um maybe a discovery section i would talk with the 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 people, they want to know how to enter China market efficiently. I will just see the business model and then tell them what to do, what's the next, the steps and something like that. Oh, perfect. Uh, guys, if you have any question, feel free to type it in the chat. Later on, we will address your question as much as we can within the same hour. Now, another question I want to ask uh, Carrie is, I, I don't use WeChat, for example. I don't really know what it works. People tell me that WeChat in Singapore is not as good as WeChat in China. Because China, everything you pay by WeChat, order by WeChat, shop on WeChat. So if you compare, let's compare WeChat with WhatsApp, okay, and the replacement for Facebook over there. Do you think that uh, China product, China social media platform is better, okay, than Facebook and WhatsApp? Um, you know, I have one uh, a, a client that is a, a trainer. She has over like uh, 200 likes her post, like you on LinkedIn, Lisa, right? It's an influencer. And she just say, oh my God, if I post a post on WeChat, people like it, they will just transfer money to me directly. The main difference between the social media in China and internationally is the payment gateway. Because you know, WeChat, they have WeChat Pay. And, but Facebook, they haven't, right? They have to link to the third party, like a credit card. So if people like, oh, I like, I like Lisa, you know, Lisa have many, many hundred and hundred like on the post. If that LinkedIn convert them $1 to 
or it's just five cents in each like how's the life look like right we so it's a different yeah we can, we so that's why oh my god but yeah that's why the different and people when they hear that i want to know more any like chance i learned that and the second really different is if you if i speak mandarin or chinese uh, like a Mandarin or a Cantonese on the WeChat personally, private message, right? And Lisa say, I don't understand what, what, you, what you're talking about. Like, but when you click uh, translation, you can translate in different language precisely, over 98% correct. That means if you are Filipino, uh, you are like a Japanese, you are from Russia, no matter which country, I think over over 50 country different language on the WeChat translation. When you type my voice track, all the words just show up in English. So even I don't know English, I can communicate with you. Oh, that's really interesting. On WhatsApp, WhatsApp you can just press the like, you can speak something and it become words in English, right? Or in Chinese, in different language, in your own language. But they have the translation function. So if I'm outside China now, my WeChat doesn't have this function. So there's no choice for me to enjoy this, right? Until I get into China and... No, no, not correct. Everyone, our WeChat off also has such function. All of us. So but you don't know what... Actually, you don't know where is the button. You know, you don't know where is the button over there. You know, you know what I mean? Because I try... Uh, I, uh, I have a, like a networking event in, in Europe before. And I have a friend from US and she never been in China and in Asia. And she, she said, I want to register a WeChat. You know, I help her offer the, you know, the, the Zoom. And then she, she said, I, I need a QR code. And, and then I scan it. And she has a WeChat. And then I, I just tried to speak some Chinese. She, she said, oh, I don't understand what you say. I just guide her to type and then uh, over it, there's a, a translation button over there. And she said, oh my God, you speak in Chinese and then I can see the words in English. She totally understand what I say. And I have a test for the other friends as well. And he knows uh, Chinese and even Filipino. And he tried, is that correct? You know, I tried to Google and it's, I don't really understand what people say. And every time when we use the WeChat translation, actually it's 98% grammatically correct. So he totally understand what I say in wow. Filipino, not, not English, not the main, major language. So if I have WeChat and I travel to Philippines, example, and somebody speaks to me in Tagalog, I can have it translated over my WeChat phone right away. Yes, yes. <laughs> you have to press that uh, voice track and then translation and all the words show up. So this encourages a lot of people to sell, right? Because even if they sell in English, for example, people can still translate and hear it in man full Mandarin. Yes. Oh, interesting. Uh, so, Carrie, I know that you run this as your own business. Okay, so a little bit more entrepreneurial question, uh, as I think some of us are also entrepreneurs. What is one of your challenges running your own business and how you overcome it? Uh, one of the challenges is like all the entrepreneurs like you also ask like different kind of questions. But the main point is um, I can't like... Um, transfer the, the skill set to uh to my colleagues because it's a really deep experience and uh, try different error and so this is uh, the struggle of that so every people must come to me and i talk with them and then have like a deeper talk uh, find out your what what exactly what you want um uh, and then just re remodel the business of the model something like that because because for me i it does a lot of like a great China social media marketer outside. But for me, I find all my value really di differentiate myself to them is I use, I apply some really local Chinese strategy in China and the people don't understand it because I have stationed in Beijing for three and a half years and also because I'm Chinese as well. So I know how they do business and even not pay any like a damn of that. They still generate like billion dollars through WeChat group marketing. I have talked to a lot of people about WeChat marketing. They don't understand what it is. Even the, the other like a Chinese social media marketer because they're foreigner. So I think that like this is a diff different between me and the other agents as well. 
Perfect. So I heard you have this is the challenge, my challenge. Yeah, it is. It is a challenge. But actually, it's, it's your value add. Okay, it's something you have. Like, even though if I study WeChat, I can never do as good as you. Just because, you know, you are, you specializing for many years. You have lived in this country. You are their people. So you understand local jargon and consumer market better than if I try mm-hmm. to learn myself. So which exactly yeah. why I think to enter China, I would recommend people to get an experienced consultant who lived there, handle the clients there, and to know the market there because she lives there every day. Compared to us just coming in and trying to do everything the foreign style because that would be our challenge as well. Mm-hmm. So I heard that you have the ability to help people increase profit. This is interesting because one of the things people are here today is because, of course, if they want to enter China, they don't, they don't want to lose money. So they want to make profit and you've been helping people to even triple their profit in a period of three months or one quarter. So can you tell us more about how that happened? Okay, I I tried that from a really long history experience. And when I was an employee in an educational overseas study group, okay, I helped that company overcome like 600,000 US dollar as the debt over that year, one year. And I find out the CEO just reached out to me every year, strict for five years, invite me back to work with him. And I don't know why. And finally, after the fifth year, I just like, I just asked that question, why you invite me back year and year again, even I reject you four times, five times. And he said, because I have like generated over, I think it's like a five million, I think it's maybe two, two, two million uh, US dollar over about that revenue for that company. And I say, oh, really? And my strategies, all the strategies I apply in this company actually is online marketing. And then I have different chance to work with the senior in Fortune 500 company. And they just, we share about like the challenges and difficulties about generate more income. And from time to time, I have such experience about clarification, create and communication, actually all based to that. So, um, is if you just figure out from this uh, like a system or like so-called success formula, you really can generate income fast because the client, all the clients or customer uh, outside traffic is is right there. But how you communicate with your target prospect is something. So if you really hit uh, the correct word, then people will buy from you. Of course, you have to provide a guarantee service to them. So this is like a system I combine over eight years experience to, to, to utilize this by myself. And I also share or maybe I consult my clients and they also get the result like, okay, triple my, my sales in around three months. And even they struggle for it two years after the consultation, apply my strategy, which I suggest them. They also like a triple their sales like in three months. So I, I find out why triple in three months. I have no idea. I have no idea why, why that, always happen. So it's like a system like that. So when you say triple in three months, uh, Carrie, does this happen to consumer products only or also like you said earlier, financial services or insurance or very corporate kind of businesses or just more to consumer market is faster? Um, I think it's no matter is like service based or product based, it's also work because it's about clarification and the missing point you haven't tagged it on. Just if you tag on, then everything will go well because there's some lacking over there. So if you follow the formula, like a create, my 4C system, uh, it's like I have a system called 4C profit increase matrix. So it's like the 4C that is clarification, create, communication, and closing. Actually, you follow this different module, you find out, oh, I, I never do that before. I try and then things just will go looming. So I, it's a, no matter it's in a, like a surface space industry or product wise, uh, like a business. Okay, okay, I have another question. Example, if I'm a foreigner and I engage you to help me, uh, I know you provide consultation, but do you also help with execution? Let's say you are the one who helped to outsource the engagement or KOLs, uh, putting together content as well, or you just help with the consultation part? I have both consultation and also an agency. Actually, I, my website is an agency. I help the clients, but from time to time, some 
companies say, I have my own marketing team. I want you to be consultant to guide them like a half year or one year. And then they pick your strategy and they can, they can model it, right? They can master it. And then they can run by themselves. So I have, actually my agency is provide the service, but from time to time it's become a more like um, some, some people ask me and so like, uh, like provide the consulting service. I see. Uh, everyone, if you have a question, feel free to type your question in the chat box. We will be re getting ready to answer them. So, Carrie, tell us one of your recent success stories. My reason of success story is I'm a really a fast learning person and I'm coachable. So, I, I learned a lot from you too, Lisa, you know. I really admire your your like i think it's like how to handle the relationship is really benefit your your business so i really admire your personality as well and so i find that um i have many things i don't know so i really coachable i'm also still under like a different mentoring by a mentor by different mentors so this is how i can leverage my business and success I think this is a great mindset to have. I'm just saying sometimes we come across with different strengths, but if we leverage off each other, we actually can achieve success together. And because I think you would agree that we can never be successful alone because we can never do everything ourselves. We need network, we need other expertise and people who already have the experience that we need to tap on. And relationship, I guess you're right, is, is very important to me. I think relationship is the core of every business. Doesn't matter whether it's a product base or financial services or, you know, uh, investments. At the end of the day, if people want to make you successful because they have a good relationship with you, then they will always be, you, they will always be supporting you. That's my personal opinion. Uh, so yeah. lastly, Carrie, I want to ask you, if people, if all of us here are interested to know more about this business, consulting and to China market, uh, how can we learn more about engaging you or knowing more? Yeah, um, you can contact me maybe on LinkedIn. My LinkedIn is uh, my, my name, C-A-R-R-I-E, Kerry, middle name, A-N-N-E-Y-U. That's my LinkedIn, um, the link of that. So you can add me on LinkedIn and also can add me on Facebook as well. It's Kerry, you speak, C-A-R-R-I-E, uh, Y-U, and speak, S-P-E-A-K. And also you can search on more information deep down for different social media in China. That's my uh, company website, uh, www.uignitelimited. Why you, my last name, Ignite, I-G-N-I-T-E, Limited Company, ltd.com. Hey, thank you very much. There's a question for you. So Mark Reynolds has a question. Uh, I think he's asking about your primary social media focus in the chat. He says, what other tools or methods are used? Uh, let me see. The Primary question social is? media focus, yes. So other than WeChat, I guess, he's probably asking if there are any tools or methods are used in your strategy, Carrie, to help others to enter China market. Oh, there's a new thing that is good for um, foreigners, I think. It's a WeChat, um, WeChat video uh, platform that is called WeC. It's the same company from Tencent. And they have like a... Uh, like a China version YouTube, okay? So you can upload the video over there called we, with w, uh, w E, we, and C S E E. But if you have a WeChat you, from time to time, you will see that already combined in your WeChat account. So you can upload your video over there, and from time to time, people can see you like on Facebook, but they have Facebook video form. So it's a good platform for you, like a free, free to use and try to test the water in China market. And the other really, really popular and generally lot of, a lot of business, a lot of money for even a foreigner or um, in China that is called Douyin, also by video marketing. So a lot of like um, influencer on YouTube, they already enter this uh, platform as well. And I have over a million followers. So uh, no matter they're celebrities in entertainment uh, industry or they're influencer on YouTube, they're already over there. I saw a lot of them in the, uh, from us so you can try that it's called douyin d-o-u-y-i-n i see so carrie if somebody engages you how soon can they enter the chinese market pardon if somebody engage you uh, to help them go into china how soon can they enter the china market after consultation with you and uh, using your agency how fast Good question 
Good question. Around, uh, I think in the three months then it's okay. Yeah, because I would, I would actually, I would invite them to my network in, you know, WeChat or different social media platform, even LinkedIn. You know, LinkedIn also connect with the Chinese uh, market. They have, I think it's like over a million already, over a million users and they are professionals. In China, they use LinkedIn. So LinkedIn also a, a platform for you if you're familiar with LinkedIn. You can try to enter in this platform and try to tag more professionals in China. This is the other for B2B, other Perfect. platform. Thank you so much for sharing. So we will later on share details uh, via email about Carrie's contact as well. So you can also contact her direct. Uh, and she also has more webinars on Spanners Academy. So now any, if there is any question, you can still take one or two. Feel free guys to put it in the chat. But I'm going to uh, kickstart an interesting part of our interview, uh, which is our rapid fire question. So it's just about more getting to know you, Carrie, as a person. So in case anybody, you know, want to engage with the future, it's good to know you more as well outside business. Uh, so if you're ready, this question, you need to answer in less than one minute to make it interesting. Uh, okay. okay, my first question. You're a new addition to the crayon box. What color would you be and why? Blue. And why? Uh, uh, because blue symbolizes sky and even water. So it's unlimited. I believe the world, the resources, and I have abundant mindset. So, and also they embrace and nurture the earth, right? Sky, you, when, you, when you have something, re, you have the bad mood when you see the sky, it will be, make you more kind. And water nurture the earth. So I want to be a person like this and I suppose I can. So it's like blue, I like blue. Very nice color. Okay. If you could be an animal in the world, what animal would you be and why? Uh, eagle ego uh, for two reasons first of all my business is not come from really easy um, way I struggle for that I have paid full time and then I grow and the, the other uh, perspective that is ego is really um, in really really extreme powerful of their eyes they can see a longer vision so I have my client like that I am like a restructure the business model and even I can find some potential they even don't realize so help them to stronger their brand and enter China market so I think I'm like a ego perfect any advice for your previous boss no I don't like to give advice to the other people that they don't ask me. I don't, I don't do that. Perfect. Teach me something, teach us something we don't know in the next, you know, two minutes. Tell us something we don't know yet. Maybe about China. Yeah, I, yeah I, I can teach you uh, how to use WeChat translation, no matter you are in different language, no matter it's Japanese or, you know, Korean or um, Filipino or English. <laughs> That's perfect. Um, what, who do you admire the most? Uh, who do I admire uh, most? My mother. <laughs> my mother, if I have my mother, I cannot, cannot be here to speak to you. And I think she is, I admire every mother. Mother is so powerful, like you. Right? So I admire my, 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 my mother is, is the, 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 the only woman that I have deep love with, I think, from time to time. I have tested. Yes, obviously, our mother, I think we have a special bond, all of us, no matter where we are in the world, we always, you know, think about our mother. Now, before I ask you the last three rapid questions, we got a question from the floor. Uh, Mark just asked the questions, two actually. He said, why do you think is the primary reason that companies fail when they enter China, from your perspective? And why do some companies succeed better than other companies? In Ch uh, enter China market. Yeah, so he wants to know what's the primary reason why does some companies enter China and still fail and why some companies can do better than the others? What's the difference? This, uh, this question is a little bit complex because uh, they, it had to, uh, we have to check about their scale, uh, how big it is or how small it is. This is the first question. And the other thing is 
about the strategy they use. So for example, in no matter where I am, I also say that first of all, if you enter China market, you must understand the audience or your target uh, prospect, their language and their habits and their value. So because it's like a westernized thing, it's not really totally fit in in China market. So if your company, no matter it's a huge group and a global group in China, um, that's not something that uh, we have like a five year plan or 10 years plan and then you can be successful, even you really successful in the world. So China is really a special area. You know, one thing is, no matter which social media is from China, they only have one world view that is China and out of China. They don't call it international. If they invite that international, that must include China. So it, you, you see that WeChat is like, Lisa, you know, right? China and like non-China yeah. area. And yeah, so everything over there is like, they create, they developed a new social media platform or apps. They, their worldview is, oh, this is for China and then all of China. So that's why you must understand your target audience, really deep research for that, and then you will be successful. Let's see, uh, I have a very curious question. Carrie, do you know, or uh, maybe you can tell us, is it true that some businesses can turn over millions of dollars very quickly after they enter the China market with the right strategy? Of course, there's a lot. You can check out from uh, many like uh, financial magazines, you know, even internet. So, they, you know, you know, Forbes, right? Everybody know Forbes, F-O-L-B-E-S. You know, in China, they have a different version. That's not called Forbes. That's called the other things, okay? And when you check out that uh, actually is from a guy that is a journalist from the UK, and he built like a call. That is like a Mandarin. He speaks very well Mandarin, but he create a China version, a form of in China version. So when we check all these like a financial magazine, really good uh, like a reputation, you can find a lot of like, this is what you say, a lot of business going really well um, and make a lot of money. And also like a, a ranking on Fox is same same thing. That is China version. So I can I can post it and and share it later or even on my LinkedIn post. Because so, uh, Carrie, I'm not a I'm not a China registered company. Okay, can I still go to China and make money and do marketing without being China registered? Yes, you can. Actually, we check at the, uh, something really interesting. Um, that is. Um, as Tencent, they have like a different branch in different countries, even from in Singapore, Malaysia, US. So if you have a website, for example, you have a website, right? And then you just combine a Google link and also the payment gateway of WeChat. And then you share your website on the social media in China. People click in, buy, and they use WeChat Pay. You can receive money from your uh, company bank account in Singapore. For example, I'm a, I, I'm a person li uh, living in China and I saw that uh, uh, Lisa, her Spanish Academy, I want to join in. And then you have a WeChat uh, payment gateway, which you apply from your country. Mm -hmm. And then I just click and play, pay in uh, RMB, that is a Chinese currency, and you can receive it in your company bank in Singapore uh, currency. And this works. So you, you no need to register a company in China. You just through a website, like a website on Google search, a website on Facebook, a website on LinkedIn, same things. But how you apply, uh, just to apply the application, everything, we must have a consultation to help you figure out. So once you have a BR, business registration in your hometown you can do it oh that's interesting because i think a lot of people think we have to be china registered we have to declare revenue and income in china or we have to operate physically in china in order to tap the chinese market but now we know because wechat has branches uh, elsewhere and they can help with the integration uh, so the money can still be transferred out of china into our business platform very interesting okay last two questions carry from our fire chat uh, before we close up 
Uh, number one, describe yourself in three words. Three words, uh, responsible, uh, respectful, and result driven. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, what is your lifelong dream? Lifelong dream, I can empower like maybe 100,000 people around the world, uh, generate more income uh, through my skills, skill set. That's excellent. Um, so everyone, we've come to the end of it. Um, actually, Carrie is one of our trainers who also run very comprehensive modules and on other aspect how to build up a five or six figure businesses. So I will share that with you via email. Uh, but Carrie, thank you so much for your time. Uh, and feel free guys to connect with you on LinkedIn if you have further questions about China market. I'm very sure Carrie will be most helpful to, will be most uh, ready to help you out. So Carrie, thank you very much for the evening. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Bye. Bye. I hope you have enjoyed uh, the in-depth discussion with an expert that we featured this week. Uh, more about the trainer in the description box below. At the same time as well, be sure to tune in to SpendlessAcademy.com to access hundreds of live webinars and co globally connect to experts all over the world. All the best with your lifelong learning. Until then, we'll see you at the next video.